They have represented East Chester High School for more than the state together, and it appears all across the nation. Tonight, we would like to thank the athletes and their families for all their hard work and wish them very well in their future living. Our first honoree is Alexis Abadon. Is a snake coming out of the toilet and getting her. 
Madison plans to attain Eastern Kentucky University where she plans to study criminal justice. She would like to thank her wonderful parents for birthing her. She also thanks Jackie, who's been so much more than a coach to her, not only taught Madison the game of basketball, but helped her grow as a person. Madison's personality and sense of humor will be great to miss. Finishing her senior year without a partner crime, Lauren Mason was not an for her, but the younger player has never passed up an opportunity to make her laugh, even if it was at her own expense. For the last three years, Madison and I have built a relationship based on mutual sarcasm. I never thought I'd say this, but I'll miss a look on her face when I call a play that she doesn't remember. All sarcasm aside, Madison's a role model, student, and her resilience is inspiring. She gets that honest as her parents are walking examples of resilient inspiration. I will miss her as well as the parents that follow these plans as Madison moves on to greater opportunity. Now for Cody. Cody's been playing basketball for 18 years. His favorite memory are from the district game against Bergen when Joe Gendry hit three threes and from the regional tournament game against Pulaski last year. Cody's favorite childhood toy was his instructional VHS basketball tape and his favorite food is any cake that looks like a basketball. The song that best describes Cody's philosophy of life is pregnant by R. Kelly and his worst year young man on the baseline. Cody's future plans include taking care of his babies. Cody would like to thank his dad, Jesus, his family, his coaches, Johnny, Bad Memories, and his beautiful mother who is his son. In Coach O'Brien's word, Cody is hands down one of, if not the hardest worker to ever put on a uniform here at East. This work ethic alone allowed Cody to overcome his vertically challenged statue, the post player. Uh -huh. There are not many, if any, Six foot four in the state having a better senior year. Mr. Consistent, or whatever you want to call him, you can always count on Cody to bring his best game night in and night out. Congratulations, Madison and Cody Collins. CJ has been playing basketball since the age of two and has been a Jaguar for one year. His favorite basketball ever occurred during his freshman year when he came down the court, lost a defender, went behind his back, crossed another defender who fell, then pulled up for a jump shot and knocked it down. CJ's favorite childhood toy was his Batman action figure. The song that describes CJ's philosophy of life is Gotta Have It by Kanye West and Jay Z. CJ is a parent of five of insects. He plays to attend college and play basketball and wants to major in business science. He would like to thank his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He would also like to thank his parents, his dad, for putting the ball in his hands, and his mother for all the support she gives him. He thanks his entire family for always believing him. And Coach O'Brien's word, it's never easy to step into a new program with new expectations and be successful. CJ has been asked to lead the team, be the floor general, and has done so quite effectively throughout the years. He is the type of player coaches love to have on their team because he takes care of business on the court and in the classroom. He is always respectful, which is why he's earned respect and the admiration of his coaches and team. Congratulations, CJ. Our next honoree is number 44, Kevin Courtney. Kevin has been joined on the court line by his mother and his dad, Tammy and James Tevin. Kevin has been a vital part of the East Sheffield High School basketball team as a manager for four years, and his favorite memory is being allowed to play on the senior night and then going to Florida for the tournament. Kevin's favorite food is pineapple, and he's terrified of mice. His favorite childhood toy was a match box race car. Kevin plans to go to the University of Georgia to major in criminal justice, or he plans to just join the police academy. Stop. Kevin would like to thank his mom, his dad, Coach Cody, Coach Sam, Coach Reeves, and Coach Larry for helping him and pushing him to do the sport in school. In Coach O'Brien's words, for four years Kevin has managed the basketball team. It is a difficult task but essential to the program, and he has done so so selfishly the entire time. Being a manager takes a great personal sacrifice, but hopefully he realizes that he is just as much as part of his team as anyone else, which is why he will be wearing the jersey for the last home game. He earned it. Congratulations, Kevin. Our next one is number three, Tashaw Jamar Hurston. Tashaw will be joined in the court tonight by his brother, Sonia Hurston, and his brother, Wayne Hurston, his cousin, Todd Jackson, his aunt, Andrea, and his second family, Dio 
Elliot, Austin, and Cody Parks. Deshaun has been playing basketball for eight years, and this way for basketball memories, we're going to the Disney World with Caitlin Jr. and an amazing comeback against Dunbar, which came with down 22 points, and down 11 points with one minute and 23 seconds to go, and coming back to win. Deshaun's favorite childhood toy was his Game Boy, and he loves to eat honey buns and lasagna. Deshaun's worst fear is drowning, and his common phrase in life is, gas money is all I need. Deshaun plans to attend Western Kentucky University to study architectural design. Deshaun would like to thank his mom and his brother for helping him overcome all obstacles in life and teaching him to be a strong in any situation. He spends a, sends a special thanks out to the Parks family for taking him in as her own. He says he loves all of them. And Coach O'Brien's work. Deshaun really came on during the middle of his junior year, and that has carried over to his senior season. He has shown multiple times this year his ability to step up when the game's on the line. His prime example of this, of this would be the second half performance against West, when he scored 10 points, hitting two threes. Ladies and gentlemen, Deshaun Javon Harrison. Our next honor is number five, Michael Richmond. Michael is being joined on the court tonight by his mother and father, Mary Jo and Curtis Retro, and his brother Jason. Michael has been playing basketball for 13 years, and his favorite memories are of the Florida trips. Michael's favorite childhood toy was his basketball and his worst series in enclosed spaces. The song that best describes Michael's philosophy of life is We Are the Champions by the Queen. Michael plans to attend the University of Kentucky and he plans to study computer engineering. He would like to thank God, his brother Jason, and his mom and dad. Coach O'Brien says that Michael's one of the best years to ever play in Houston. When he graduates, he will leave the school with three quarters made. His ability to shoot came from hours upon hours upon hours of work at the gym, a dedication that is rarefied that led to his success on the court. He's applied the same effort to the classroom, which is why he is a governor's song. Congratulations, Michael Wexler. His sister Kiara Thomas and his dad Lynn Thomas. Cameron played basketball at East Upton High School since he was a freshman. His favorite basketball memory occurred this year when East beat Montgomery County, resulting in East being ranked top 25 in the state. Cameron's favorite childhood toy was his Hot Wheels. The song that describes Cameron's philosophy online is I'm a Lost by Lee Hill. His worst fear is spiders. Cameron has signed to play football at Tuscola University, where he plans to major in athletic training. Cameron would like to thank Coach O'Brien, Coach Sandler, and Coach Larry for always being on him. He says that made him stronger in life and taught him not to quit. He appreciates their support in every sport he played, and he loves each of you. He also would like to thank his family for their support and encouragement throughout his high school years. He says that he is so lucky to be part of such a wonderful family. In Coach O'Brien's words, Cameron is a freak of an athlete, and it is his athleticism that has allowed him to become one of the most exciting players to ever attack the rim during a game. He thrives on competition and always rises to the challenge set in front of him. Cameron received a football scholarship at Tusco recently, and we are so proud of him. And you can just rest assured that he will make the most of this opportunity. If you know Cameron, you know just how special a person he is. He's the type of person that every parent would be proud to call their own. Ladies and gentlemen, Cameron Thomas. <laughs> Senior athletes, everyone would like to thank you again for all the hard work, dedication you have given to East Chester High School. The coaches, the faculty, the staff, and the fans truly appreciate all you have done to make East Chester High School shine.